Hey, Lady Luz. This is Jamie Lowe Tallulah, and I'm here to do a very short tutorial on how to make my jumbo paper bag tag. So, what you will need is some very simple stuff. You'll need scissors. You'll need something to trace with. You'll need a paper bag. Okay. And mine is, um, how big is this paper bag? It's 12 inches tall. So it's really dumb up. Um, and you will need some kind of recycling box. Now you can use chipboard, but you know why when you can get, you have plenty of cereal boxes and so forth in the house. So you might as well use them. Okay. So I have this box and it is an old El Paso box. And basically you want to make sure that the box is big enough for your tag. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be in the inside of the bag. Anyway, so basically then you want to turn it over. Um, and it doesn't really matter, so turn it over. And I'm probably going to use this side. Okay, and like I said, it does not have to be perfect. It just has to fit most of the bag. So lay your bag down. Hopefully you can see this. Lay your bag down, and you want to use as much of it as possible. So I'm going to put my bag all the way down here and go all the way up to the top. So take your bag and line it up, and then take your pencil or pen, whatever you have, which I can't find anymore. And like in this case, I'm just going to mark this line right here that's already there um, to cut that off. And then... You want to, so I marked it down there, and then at the top, you want to make it just a fraction shorter. Now, if you want to, you could go ahead and cut this off so you don't have that um, swoop there. But here's where my bag ends. So you can see that it ends about there. And you want to cut it just a few, little, like a half an inch, maybe a quarter inch less than that. So... My mark is about here. I need to put my pencil out. My mark is about there. And so I'm going to cut it just a little bit there. So I'll cut it right there all the way across. Then on the side, you want to take a fraction of that off. So if this is the edge, so I'll show you what I mean here. So if this, maybe I should use a marker so you can see, because you're not going to see this anyway. So here's the edge. So can you see that? There's the edge from my bag. And here was the original edge. I want to go down a little bit and cut about a fourth of an inch off. Then over here, that's my edge. And I want to go ahead and come in a little bit and cut about maybe a fourth inch shorter. Because it actually has to fit in the bag. Okay? So go ahead and draw your line all the way down. And then you're going to cut that out. So, you're just going to go ahead and cut it. And you can use your paper trimmer, but like I said, nobody's going to see it, so who cares. Then, if you're going to do another one, you have another one there. So, I'm going to stick that to the side real quick. And, like, here, it doesn't matter that this little piece is extra. And I used all this, so I'm going to cut this off. Cut, 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 cut. Cut that off. And then cut this off. And like I said, no need to be perfect. You won't see this. Now, you know, if you are OCD or something and you absolutely want everything perfect, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, but this is good enough for me. So now here's what I have left. Okay. So that's it. And what you're going to do is you can probably use your ATG gun um, because there is no real... Um, it's not going to get any really any real wear, and you could probably not even put that much on. But you want to put some strong tape on it, just because it's thicker than paper, and you don't need a whole lot. You just need it so it'll stick down. And you'll probably want to use your score tape anyway, because that way you can. Put this tape on the other side because you need it on both sides. So just randomly put your tape, flip it over, put some more tape. And I want 
to say I got this tape from I Am Mama 24. So I Am Mama 24, if this was you and you did give me this tape, which I believe it was, will you PM me? Because I would like to find out where you got it or if you can get me some more. And I'll pay you for it because, you know, stuff ain't cheap nowadays. All right, so you have that in there. Just burnish all that down so you can get it off. And take one side off. Then you have your paper pack, your paper bag, and it doesn't matter which side you put in first. Um, I did find that when I did this, if you take the end that flips up and you put that at the top, and then open your bag, okay, you want to open your bag pretty much so that it's open, and kind of make sure it's straight, you know, so you don't have any extras on the edge, and. You're going to slide your cardboard piece in there. Okay. So let me get the other side off real quick. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I shouldn't have done this part ahead of time, but I didn't even think about it. I wasn't really going to do this video tonight. <laughs> I was just sitting here and then I'm like, let me work on this other project I need to do. So. You know how that is, lady ladies. So I'm over here. All I'm doing is taking off the tape. So that's, what, that's what I'm doing over here. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Oh, Alright. So. Then what you want to do. Because this is the top. This is the part that flips up and down. You want to slide your cardboard in there. But don't get it stuck. So it's towards the back. So not on the edge. Not up here, but on the bottom edge, just because it makes it easier to get in. So, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of hard to move. do it this way. But, so, just slide it in there, try not to get it stuck down. All right, get it all the way to the bottom of the bag. Okay. So, now if you can see in there, stuck all the way to the bottom, and then check your sides, make sure nothing's overlapping. And stick it down. Just put your hand on in there and stick it down. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Alright. So then it's stuck down. And then you want to carefully get your top of your bag ready. Like get this almost, you know, like it's folded almost. Uh, so here. Kind of push that down. And you still have space. And then kind of just carefully, I would start from the bottom. And then when you push that down, okay, and smooth it out. Get that all smoothed down, turn it back over. And you can make a few little adjustments or stuff like that. Just rub it all down. And then you'll notice that your paper bag is much sturdier. And it's probably stronger than a, and it's, well, it's going to be depending on the quality of your bag, uh, your cardboard, your recycle bag. But there you have it. And then what you'll want to do is remember you'll want to do whatever kind of matting you're going to do here. I'm not going to do that because everybody knows how to mat. So you want to do whatever kind of matting you're going to do here. And then glue down on this side. Glue down this edge here, glue down this edge so that you can create a pocket and then do some matting here. And what I also did, because you have this piece that flaps up, all I did was then take, you could do glue too if you wanted. I then took, because you can lift it up like that, and just on the very edge, went ahead and ran the ATG because you're not gonna, it's not gonna take anywhere other than, then run it down the other side. Okay. 
I use a lot of tape and glue. Run it down the other side, turn that, and then slice it back down. And then it doesn't pop open at all. And like I said, you could use glue then on the edges, and then your pocket will be here, mat here, um, you know, stick some things there. Or you could just glue this whole thing down and not have a pocket. Um, let's see. Now, up here at the top, you are going to have this little piece. You can just take it and cut it all off. Um, what I did in the other one was I took some glue or the tape runner, doesn't matter. Either one will work. And do the same thing. Run a little bit here. I hate when the tape does that. It gets on my nerves. Run that there. And if you need to, you can do it in the back. Wherever you need to add glue. Okay. So, just right in there on that little lip. Okay. And then if you want to, you could slice all that off so you don't see the cardboard. But what I did was I embellished it so I had trim on the top so you wouldn't see it anyway. So there you go. That is my jumbo bag of mini. I hope you make some. If you do, I would like to see a video response. That would be awesome. And you could link it below to this video. And I hope you enjoy. And I will be back with something else later. Bye.